default looks like for the page. Okay, there is our jQuery. And because we're not using any of the user interface controls, the UIs and the style sheet are not here yet, but they will once we include the accordion view. So now I'm ready to include the panes and the containers. The same concept applies. Each individual data goes inside of the pane and all of the panes go inside of the container. So first I'm going to create the pane for each of the books like before. Now this is where the difference comes in. Uh, this is not the ID of the pane, but the ID of the container that the pane belongs to. So unlike in Dojo, the jQuery's panes are not assigned a unique ID. Instead, you tell to which overall container does the pane apply. And the second parameter is the content. And I am using the books author. And now I am including the parameters as in the jQuery's manual. So this is a set of parameters available in the jQuery's user interface library itself. Okay, that's our pane. And now we just include these panes in the overall container. So I'm just going to create the container for it. And the first parameter is the container's ID. So this is the ID of the container where we want our panes to be. And here comes the jQuery parameters. So these are not Zend framework parameters. Uh, these here are the jQuery parameters found in the jQuery's manual. And in this case, it's going to be This is just some of the parameters that I like. Okay, so let's see what that looks like now. And this is our result. So a very neat looking accordion. And let's now look over the source code. So notice how the jQuery UI JavaScript is now included that now that we've called the UI controllers, the jQuery looks much neater than Dojo did. And once again, the accordion pane does not have a unique ID. Instead, it takes the ID of the container so it knows where it belongs. Um, the second parameter is the content of the pane and this is the title for the pane then the container includes obviously the containers ID and these are the con the jQuery's container parameters and you can find what they are on the jQuery's manual so these are all the available options for us to use uh, I've used active and collapsible okay and uh, also I don't actually need the CSS class in the body so that's the jQuery side of things and um, I am actually interested in your opinion of whether 
you preferred the Dojo's way or the jQuery's way to create our accordion. So drop me a comment to tell me which one you liked more.